I am gonna vlog today as well. It is Saturday, March 27th. Of us, you guys, we're gonna go thrifting today. I have been wanting to go thrifting in the city for such a long time. I think the last time I've been thrifting in New York was probably last year. So yeah, let's get started with the day. Okay, these are the ingredients for my smoothie. I'm gonna use this peanut butter, um, strawberries, blueberries and frozen bananas and then this oat milk um i like to keep my smoothies fairly simple but i definitely love adding peanut butter i feel like that is what makes it taste really good so let's make this smoothie and yeah because i'm super hungry i usually add spinach but yeah this is my breakfast um i'm just gonna drink this and just like do some more work and then i will tune in once i do my makeup and then head out to go thrifting i have been really liking light makeup these past few days just because i feel like when i have makeup on my face for a long time it gets really um crusty and I feel like I just like to keep it simple BB cream. I don't use foundation because it's too heavy for my skin But I'm just gonna finish up and then show you guys my outfit Okay, I finished my makeup. Um, this is the look. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit now So I'm wearing this flannel. It's borrowed by Allison this white turtleneck I believe it's from Topshop and then I'm wearing this green Princess Polly skirt and I love it so much. I don't like have a lot of skirts so I was so happy when I found um, some pastel skirts to wear. And so let me just show you guys. Outfits. And then I paired it with this like black purse and my new um, brown sunglasses. So it's gonna look like this. Green and brown are always, it's always a good combo, color combination. And then for shoes, I'm going to wear black cowboy boots. Hopefully it's not too cold out, but I'm excited. So let's go thrifting. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we're back in the apartment. Whew, that was a workout, honestly. I forgot how hard thrifting actually is. It's actually so hard to find good things that you actually like, but we did get a good amount of stuff. Allison found a Vivian Westwood dress. Like, that's amazing. Um, and so we're gonna do like a little haul. I'm not gonna show everything because I am gonna have a spring haul of everything that I've bought. Um, recently so stay tuned for that I'm just like rainbow gem ring and I thought it would go so well on this hand with my um, gold ring I've been really into hoops so I got like a thinner silver one silver hoops um, they're just like super thin and I feel like it would go well with like any outfit Ooh, the second thing Allison got is this top Oh, it looks darker, but it's like yeah, it's like it's like purpley. And then oh, I'm just like super exhausted. I have like no energy left. Oh my god, I'm so excited to show you this. Okay, so basically, in the fitting rooms of this vintage store, there were a lot of vintage um, belts, and I got this super cute belt, and it has like little charms on it. Like, how cool is that? And it, like the detail, the engraving here is so cool. It look, it just reminds me of like Chrome Hearts style belts. So I thought it was super cute. And I've been wanting a belt so badly. Like this, it's just like my dream belt. This is the last thing I'm gonna show you guys and the rest of it, I'm gonna show you guys in my spring haul. This Harley Davidson T, oh, it's backwards. This is the front and it's like so cute and it fits perfectly, it's like a little, Crop, not crop top, but it's like a tank top. And then it has also like a back graphic, which is super cool. And so, yeah, 
feel like you can and like change it up like, yeah i feel like it's like you can wear it backwards and forwards like you can mix it up but that is all i'm gonna show you guys i'm waiting for allison to try on her vivian westwood dress because i really want to see what it looks like tip for when you thrift at um new york you should bring your own bag because they do charge you we we had to buy this bag um at the first we went to buffalo exchange and this bag cost 50 dollars like that's crazy so definitely bring your own bag if you don't want to like buy a bag because new york is very about like the sustainable Wait, bag movement right now this is a vivian westwood and allison doesn't like it but i like it i feel like not very really happy with it's it. it's very like lace but she d she might change it into a top because it's just like it just looks it's weird just like as a the, dress the sh like the what is it the gray underneath like stops right here so yeah it's just like it's uncomfortable because it's like right below like my butt. i feel like it'd be cute as like like a shirt it's like 6 30 and i kind of just was taking a break taking like a nap here and there but i figured i would eat something quick before i make dinner um probably gonna make dinner at like 7 7 30 ish this is the bibimbap onagru it's basically like kimbap but like in a triangle shape and it has beef bean sprout onion chili paste sugar salt rice dried seaweed um so yeah i'm just gonna open it So the meat is in here in the second bite. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna make like a rice. I don't know what, like I don't know the recipe. I don't know, I'm just gonna wing it. I definitely wanna eat like rice and an egg omelet kind of situation. It's very Japanese um, dinner style. So I'm just making like, I'm just gonna crack two eggs and then pretend I'm making like an omelet almost. And then I think what I'm gonna do is just like heat up some rice with broccoli and, whoa, just dropped the entire thing. Okay, it's fine. And then I'm going to make, I'm gonna get some rice and then put gochujang, which is like a, a, like a spicy red um, paste, like a soybean paste. And then I'm gonna put some butter and mix it up and then put some broccoli in that. And then I'm gonna heat up the egg and um, just fry it like I would like an omelet, but like without any cheese or anything like that. And then I'm gonna like lay it over the rice. So I'm really excited, I'm super hungry. So I got like about like a cup of rice and it's like bean rice. I know it's purple. But it's because um, it's purple because it's white rice with beans, and then the beans um, make the white rice purple. Get like a spoonful of butter, and then just like mix it in. The butter is like all mixed in into the rice, and I'm gonna take this. Now you're gonna take gochujang, which is basically just hot pepper paste, and it's so good. It's not too spicy also, it's very like, almost like sweet spicy, but I'm just gonna take like that much, like a spoonful, and then I'm gonna like mix that in. I'm gonna add like a teeny amount of sesame oil. So I like to use the cap for measurement, but literally just like so little, like half of the cap because it is very like flavorful. I'm gonna fry the egg and heat up the broccoli. This is a broccoli. I marinated this with garlic, soy sauce, and sesame oil yesterday and it's so good. Okay guys, here, it's kind of ugly so don't judge but I show you guys the base, it was the rice, and then this is the top. I just topped it with like a fried egg and some leftover broccoli that I made yesterday with soy sauce, garlic, and sesame oil. Um, and now I'm just gonna eat this. 
I'm super hungry. Okay, let's get some egg and rice. Mmm. Hot. Egg is still really hot. Okay, I'm gonna try some rice with the broccoli. This is so good. And it's pretty healthy. It's pretty healthy. It's better than ordering it. And I was literally gonna get Domino's pizza. Um, but yeah, this is my dinner. Um, and I'll check in later. I'm just gonna eat this and watch some TV. Okay, sometime after dinner, I just finished eating and I'm gonna have this for dessert. It's like the probiotic. Yogurt, it's like Yakult, um, Korean Yakult, and it's not, I don't really drink it because it's a yogurt, I drink it for the taste, because it tastes really good, and it's literally like drinking a shot almost, you just like chug it. Mmm, so good. And I feel like it's sweet enough that it like satisfies my sweet tooth after dinner because I always get a sweet tooth. But I've just been like crocheting for my pants. I think I have like about like 10 of these squares. Um, I definitely want to get to like 40 by the end of the week so I can start making like the pants. So I think I might just end the vlog here. Um, stay tuned, you guys, for my spring haul that's coming up. Um, I'm basically just going to be crocheting and doing dishes and boring stuff for the rest of the night. But thank you guys for watching and um, I'll see you guys soon.